Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys all the slides in my brand new indoor water park resort. Am I filming this the same day as the tour? Yes, so don't judge that I'm wearing the same thing. So we're just gonna get straight into it. I'm actually not sure how many slides there are. Let me count. I'm gonna count the racing slides as just like one slide, even though there's three of them. So we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then I think there's four. So I think there's 13 slides. Oh, there might've been 12 last time. I think there's more slides on this park than my other one. Well, that's cool. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I was just trying to fit a lot of slides, but that works out. So we're going to go over here to this area first. Like I said in the tour video, this is also where the kids area is. All right. So the first slide is right here. It's below the racing slides. Here's what it looks like. It's actually pretty fast, but it's got lots of twists and turns and you could probably break your back right there at the end, but that's okay. So now we're going to do this like tan water slide. Also, another thing, I just want to say this, for those who don't know how to use the slides, if you haven't been to my other water park, make sure you're on the slant right here and not the flat part. The flat part is just to help show that it's a slide, but it doesn't actually work. You have to place the inner tube on the slant, otherwise you won't go down. So here we are, we're gonna go down this one. This one's pretty smooth, I like it. And then a big drop at the bottom. <laughs> so that's that one. And then we're just gonna climb up here just to save time. I don't recommend this during the event because people will be sliding down it. Can't make a water park without the racing slide. So here is the racing slide. People have gotten stuck in this area before. So make sure to jump just in case. Jumping also makes it more chaotic if you prefer a chaotic ride. So we're gonna go here. Ooh, okay, not bad. That one was pretty smooth. So those are the slides in this area. Now we're going to head over to the other corner. We're gonna go through the snack shack area and cross over with this bridge. This is probably one of my favorite areas of the plot. It's just super pretty. So here's this one. This one's very short. You can stay on the slant and then go down. I tried to make them all a different color, so then if I say like, hey, go to this color slide, it makes it easier to find. I think some of them are very similar colors. All right, so here's this slide. This one's really cool because it's long. So we're gonna go here. Oh, it's pretty fast, actually. Here we go. That's a nice one. So we're gonna stand on the slant for the white one. That one will definitely give you a concussion. All right, and then this is one of the slides that they provide us. So here's what it looks like. This one's got transparent areas so you can see people slide through it, which is cool just like that, it's pretty fast. Okay, so those are all the slides that are not connected to the mountain, but now we're gonna go to the mountain ones. There's a really small one right here, just to add another slide, it's very quick. And then there are two different ways to get to the mountain part. There's this way, which is on the left side, and there's also another spot, which I'll show. So you just have to go to the snack shack area and all the way in the corner where it's darker, there's another area to go up. So we're gonna do this red one first. I'm trying to figure out if I wanna do it in first person or if I wanna do it outside of it. I feel like I should do it in first person. Person. We'll do it in first person. Here's what it looks like. You can see a little bit of the crystal area, which is cool. And then with that red slide, actually, if you're on the first floor, you can actually see people slide through part of the slide. There's four more slides for us to do. Oh, I am going the wrong way. Even I'm getting lost on my own plot. This is great. So I'm going to do this one first. Again, stand on the slant. Good so far, good. Okay, we're gonna make it, good. <laughs> I like the custom slides too because they do take a little bit longer to slide down so you kind of get to enjoy it more. Okay, we're gonna do this one next. It's like a yellow, I think it's kind of like a yellow color. All right, here we go. So we got a clear area. So if you're eating your food at the snack shack, you can see people slide through it. So this will be really cool with 50 people on the plot with everyone going down the slides. You'll always see someone going through it. I am so excited for the event. I am so excited. I can't wait to see everyone's reactions too for this plot, especially because I've been teasing it for quite a while now. This one's cool because it's half outside and it's half inside. So there's lots of turns and then you go here see all the crystals and then you come out. All right, and then we just have this green one right here. So here is the last slide. All right, and that is all of the water slides. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Let me know what your favorite water slide was down below. If you have not yet subscribed, make sure you do, and I will see you guys in my next video.